everyone, it's me Sherry and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see from the title, this is going to be a Shop Miss A haul. I've had a little bit of problems with Shop Miss A in the past. I did order it from there last year during the pandemic when everything was just first on lockdown and I never got my parcel, but what they did was they refunded my money because it got lost. So I decided to try again because there was, I seen people talking about this site over and over again and there were some things that I wanted to get and so I was like, oh, let's just give it a try. So I only made like an $18 order, just so you guys know it's very small. But I'm going to try on some of these products for you guys today in this video so we can see together how they perform. I did also get a small, and I mean small, package from Sephora. I ordered one thing that was on sale. I'm rouge, so I get free shipping. But I wanted to get it before it was sold out. Um, I'll show you guys right quick what I got from Sephora. Marc Jacobs sample of Perfect Perfume. Um, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. And I picked up one of these Sephora Jelly Melts. Now, I bought one of these a couple months ago. Jacqueline got me two in my swap, which salsa I've been wearing a lot. And then this one is in the color Tango, which is a coral. And I wanted to get it before it sold out because they're on sale for $7. So I knew it wasn't going to last very long. So that's all I got. I know it's ridiculous to order one thing. But if I have free shipping, why not, right? All right. So if you guys want to see what I got from Shop Miss A, then stay tuned for the video. I brought in a pair of scissors because I know I'm not going to be able to open all this packaging. So I'm going to haul it first and then we'll go in and do a demo, okay? So the first thing that I got is like a tool sort of thing. This is a blender travel case. And yeah, I'm glad I brought in scissors. This is from AOA and it, I think it's charity edition. So it must be Papa. Oh yeah, it says right on the front of it. It's from the Papa collection. So some of the proceeds apparently, I guess, go towards an animal charity. So that, I like that because you guys know I'm an animal lover. It says all these items are cruelty free, but it also says that they're made in China, so I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not getting into that. But if you're interested, a lot of this stuff says it's vegan and cruelty free, especially the makeup. Look at this. Oh, I just dropped something. I'll have to find it because Tigger will get it. Ew, why is it dirty? It was inside a package. Okay, this has to be washed before I put a sponge in it. Because look, look. It's a little kitty cat, but it's dirty. Why is it dirty? But this can sit on my desk once I clean it. It'll sit on my desk with my beauty sponge in it. So I like that. So, and speaking of beauty sp sponges, I got two of the AOA Papa blending sponges. I'm only going to open one of these because I don't need to have two open because I already got two sponges on the go. I'm sorry, Star's going to bark because there's a dog barking outside. It's okay, Star. A lot of people swear by these. Ooh, they are really squishy, but you know what? It's all right, Star. They feel very comparable to the uh, Beauty Bakery sponges, which are $18 for six of them, which isn't bad. But these, if these are like going to be any good, I'll be buying sponges from there. I'll just order them in bulk, that's all. I think you can get a package of 10 for like $10. So we're going to try this out today. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? Yay! I got to remo remove all this packaging okay so the next thing that i got is the aoa studio perfect bb cream and i got this in the color fair so it looks like this um pricing i forget the pricing but nothing is over a dollar 88 so let's just put it that way that's in american prices let's see i just want to see how this the color gonna be good the color is gonna be good for me how greasy is this gonna be though the color is a little yellow no smell oh it doesn't feel that bad it doesn't feel that bad so we'll give that a try that was a dollar grab a baby wipe here because 
If I don't take swatches off myself, I'm going to end up with stuff all over myself. I don't know how that's going to feel on my face. I used to be combo to oily, but now I'm like more, I don't know, my skin changed. So I also got the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. This was $1.88. If this works for $1.88 and I like the way it performs, like, hello, $1.88 for foundation. All right, where's the little... I think I'm going to try this one today, if I can ever find the little, uh... All right, I'm not going to worry about that right now, because we're going to try this one today. So, I'm just going to leave it be. The next thing that I got is a hand cream. This is the AOA Studio Shea Butter, and this is hand cream and coconut. Let's, let's test this out. I'm in a testing mood today, guys, so... Don't do what I'm about to do. <laughs> no class. Okay. I don't like the way things feel on the front of my hand usually. So let's put a little dollop on the back of my hand. Oh yeah, she smells coconutty. Me likes that. Does this absorb in good? Not the best. See how it left like a filmy? I gotta work that in more. <laughs> that I don't like. I don't like having to overwork stuff in to my skin and it's leaving like a white cast so <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I like my cow's hand cream better than Jacqueline sent me. Yeah look at the, can you guys see that? The white cast that that's leaving? Maybe I got a rub. Maybe I put too much. I probably put too much. That was probably my fault. Oh, yeah. I put too much. Okay. Now I'm going to take a baby wipe and uh, wipe off the front of my hands because, like I said, I don't like them being too sticky. The next product that I got is the AOA Studio. I got all, everything that I got is AOA, I think. This is Smooth Lips Coconut Lip Mask. I shouldn't be opening more lip products, but. Mm. Ooh, it's white. I'm going to prime my lips right now. It's like a coconut milk. That's what it smells like. Not bad, not bad. All right, the next product that I got is the AOA Hush Cream Blush. Is there a color name on this? Yeah, Passion. It looks like this. So, let's open this up. If I can. <laughs> All right, they really got this sealed good. I'm not, probably going to have to... Okay, I'm going to open some of this stuff that's tougher to open. I'm going to open it for like when I do the demo part. And then the last thing that I got, which I didn't know was all matte, so I might have to mix something in with this. But this is the AOA Studio Paw Paw Collection Eyeshadow Quad. And this is in the color Izinia. So it's all mattes. So let's open this up. Having technical difficulties. My peach palette is my palette of the week this week. So I'll just put something from the peach palette. Some shimmery color. Because I like shimmer on the lid. And I should have opened all this packaging before I did the video. But I wanted to show you guys everything in its full integrity. And in its packaging. So, Alright, let's have a look. There's what the colors look like. I don't know why I smelled that. What? Okay, let's, let's swatch. Oh, they're soft. <coughs> Star. <coughs> it's okay. <coughs> Ooh. 
space watch pretty nice. Here's what the swatches look like. Okay, guys, so that's everything that I bought. Now I'm just going to go and get any packagings open that I need to, and I'm going to prime my lids and my face, and we're going to get started, okay? Okay, guys, I primed my eyes and I primed my face, so let's just get started. Now I just realized we're going to do it anyway, but I just realized this blush isn't going to go with this eye combo. It is what it is. So I didn't, you know what, just give me two seconds. I'm going to... Uh, dampen this but no we'll do that when I'm ready for the foundation we're going to work on the eyes first so I might as well just do that first I'm all over the place today it's been a while since I actually filmed when you're seeing this video like because I had my videos all for June they were all done early okay I'm going to dip into this color and I'm going to set down my primer do these have names no the colors don't have names I think this hair color is pretty much in all of these little $1 palettes, though. These are new, apparently. There's a couple more that I wouldn't mind getting from this, but, you know, I'm not... I just wanted to try some of this stuff, so I just placed a small order. I don't want to go crazy shopping on Shop Miss A. Maybe I'll order some stuff for my birthday or for Christmas or something. Uh-oh, that's set down nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? We're going to play with every shadow in this. I'm going to take this next color here. We're just going to go through it. I'm going to take this on this same brush, and I'm just going to lay it. These are pigmented. Wow. For a dollar fifty or a dollar eighty-eight or whatever it was. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm using this on this brush because I want it, like, fanned out a little bit. Do you see the color that's coming off on that? It's pretty good. And I have to tap off because no fallout under my eyes. Okay, so I just went in with a little bit more of that color on the brush. Mike just got a phone call, so you could probably hear him talking a bit in the background, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to take this color now. And I'm going to take a finer brush. And I'm just going to put that in the crease as well. But it will be a little closer to the crease. You only need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Okay, and we're going to take the blending brush again and blend that out. Wow. I'm impressed, guys. I'm really impressed. And this is a perfect little palette to go along with some of your warmer tone palettes if you need those colors for, like, if you need these colors for, like, warmer tone looks. All right, so I'm going to take this orangey creamsicle color and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. I'm going to build it up a little bit. So start off light and build up. That's always the way to go with any shadow, really. Because you can build it up, but you can't take it away, right? So. It's easier to build up on this smaller eye. <laughs> There's not as much surface. Don't worry about anything that gets under my eye because I can clean that up. Obviously. Okay, and I'm just going to take this and blend it a little bit. Okay, I'm not worried about that fallout because I'll clean that up later. I'm just going to clean it a little bit with this baby wipe. Okay, and I'm just, like I said, I need some, some glitter in my life, so I'm just going to take my Sweet Peach palette, because this is my palette of the week, and it has some great shades that would correspond with this. 
I'm going to take Luscious, I think. Yeah, I'm going to take Luscious right here. And we're going to put... This is my first time using the peach palette in a long time, so I don't know how these shadows are going to perform. Like, this is the week for using the Sweet Peach, but I didn't use it yet. <laughs> I'm just doing this with my finger because sometimes I find shimmery shades work best. These are starting to lose their luster. This might be the last year for this peach palette and I might have to toss it. I might end up getting a new peach palette though because I really like my peach palette. Alright, so that's that. And I might go back in with a little Shop Miss A palette for under the under the eyes. But for right now, I'm going to go and I'm going to... So I'm going with a motorcycle now. It never fails. Every time I film, I'm going to go and dampen my sponge. Okay, this actually got quite a bit bigger, if you can see that there. So we're going to go in with this foundation because I'll try the BB cream on a different day. So we already tried the lip balm. And we're gonna try we tried the eyeshadows for right now when I'm done setting everything I might do something oh you gotta shake this I think it actually says on it to shake well or was that the BB cream but you probably still gotta shake it so I don't this might be too light for me <laughs> but that's okay because I can bronze myself up I don't want to use it it's so fresh and new I don't want to get it dirty but I'm gonna just for you guys. I wasn't really ready for a new sponge either. Like I had. Whoa, that's probably way too much. I don't know what the co I shouldn't have done that. Because I don't know what the coverage is like on this. I don't know how good the coverage is, so I shouldn't have went that hardcore. Um, but we'll we'll deal with it. I think the coverage is good on this and it is way too light for me we're gonna have to um, bronze myself up again well it might not be that bad when it's blended out let's see I'll just blend it down my neck cuz I am pretty light okay let's see how long this takes to blend out it's not that bad it looked way worse at first I might have too much on here though. I want to know how well these sponges wash up too. Okay, not everybody does this, but I like to do this. Ooh. That feels like it's dry into my skin already. I like to take my hands and just work the product in with my hands because the heat from your hands warms it up and it just makes it melt into your skin. Not that the sponge didn't do it because the sponge did a really good job actually. I don't know if I like this I'm going to have to try it. I want to try it with a more hydrating primer. I use the um, pour, No Problem Primer. It looks pretty good, but it looks like I have like a little bit of... Oh my God, I look so white. <laughs> um, it looks like I have a little bit of... Um... No, maybe it's not. It looked like it was peeling up a little bit, but it's not completely, it's like a demi matte, I guess, is what I would call this. All right, I'm afraid to go in. I'm not going to do concealer today because I just don't feel like it. I think everything looks pretty good there. I might put a little something under my eyes, though. 
All right, we're going to have to see how this wears through the day. So maybe I'll update you guys down in the um, description box with this. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm afraid of this blush, guys. I'm very afraid. But before I set anything with powder, I'm going to have to go in with the blush. <sighs> I'm very, very afraid. I think I'm going to, you know what? I think I'm going to take this with my finger, put it on. This blush is not going to match, and I know it's not going to match the um, eyeshadow at all. But I want to test the blush. So we're, we're going to look like a clown today. Let's just put it that way. That comes up pretty, picks up. Oh yeah, we're going to look like a clown today. <laughs> oh no, is it not going to blend? It's patchy. Okay, we'll try a different method on the other cheek. I'm not worried about this either because I can put... Okay, that's not bad. It's not the right color for this eyeshadow, but it's not bad. All right, we're going to try it with a brush on this side. Oh. Please let this go okay. Okay, well, we can apply it with the blush, brush. And that's way too much. I think I like it with the brush better. And then you can just kind of... Stamp it out a bit with the beauty blender. Well, not the beauty, you know, the Papa sponge. I think that's a little bit better. I'm still not liking the way this is looking, though. It looks like too much blush for me. I don't wear that much. But this, um, yeah, it does give kind of a natural flush. I'm liking that. Okay, not bad. We'll see how if it ghosts me by the end of the day. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to kind of take this orangey color here in the palette. And I'm going to get some on the brush. And I'm going to squish it down. I'm not really squishing it down. I'm just going to fluff it under the eyes a bit. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go and finish up my face makeup and then I will be back and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I didn't bother putting bronzer on. I just couldn't be bothered today. Just, I'm just not bothered. The, um... We'll talk about the products in a minute. I'm just going to put some of this on to finish off my look. I know. Pink cheeks, orange and, orange and lips. and I'm a little backwards today, but you know, whatever. If you guys can hear that bird down there, I apologize. She's uh, slipping out a little bit. Yeah, I'm not matching the best today, so I apologize for that. But I just want to try out some new products, like I said. So it, um, it just happened to be this way. That I have coral lips on with orange eyeshadow and pink cheeks. Just the way the cookie crumbles. Alright, let's talk about the products, okay? Very quickly. The blush, very nice, blended out easily once you find the right method to blend it out with. The color is pretty. It is like a corally pink, though. So, actually, I think it's similar to, um, I don't know where it is right now. Right here. I think it's similar to the Fenty blush in Petal Poppin. No, that's lighter. But anyway. All right, so this nice 
Um, this eyeshadow I was impressed with for the price of it. It blends out really nice. This is a nice companion palette. This actually goes really well with the peach palette. So I'll be using that. The foundation, it um, applied very easily. It feels nice on the skin. We just have to see with a wear test how it goes. I'm starting to get sweaty from under the lights now because it's hot outside. Um, this BB cream, I haven't tested yet, but I will test that on another day. Maybe fill you in down below or in a favorites video or something. The sponge, I like. I like the sponge. Um, and like I said, it, it grew quite a bit. The lip oil stayed on my lips the whole time I was doing my makeup and saturated my lips. So that's, it's not a lip oil, it's a lip mask. But yeah, that stayed there. The hand cream, I put too much on, but it does, it feels nice, so... And that's it, other than this little guy that I gotta wash before I can use it, but it is so cute. And I can just see putting the little sponge inside there and just leaving him out on my desk. Then maybe Tigger's cat here won't get all over it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been pretty chatty. Did I talk about everything? Yeah, I did. It's been a pretty chatty one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed testing out this stuff for you guys. And like I said, I'll try to update down below. Um, I don't know how well today would be a good test good day for a wear test because it's hot outside So let's see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you did if you're new to my channel Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell So you'll be notified of future uploads you guys could probably hear start clicking around down here and uh, Yeah, so take care of yourselves. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone